So this Sunday's sermon is about truth in the soul. Truth in someone's soul is basing the truth of your life. Now the truth of your life is never an outwardly journey. It's never about your body. It's never about your hair. It's never about your beard. It's never about other things that might be underneath your clothing. The truth of your soul is about who you are in God's house today. You see, when I was much younger, I didn't have any kind of skill sets like this. I didn't have any prophecy. I didn't have any clairvoyance. I didn't have any clairaudience. I didn't have any clairaudience. I didn't have any clairassistance. I didn't have any of the clairs. But the further that I journeyed along my life's lessons from the Lord's house, the further I got into being more of me, interested in God and less interested in me, the better my skills got. It is truthful that if a heart of a stranger is open, I can read them with the Lord's permission. Most people don't understand the angels around them and how they work. The book of Enoch has been removed from the Bible, sadly. It's about the watchers meaning that ring around us in the spirit realm that is supposed to keep us safer from the demons and the dwarfs of the underworld. Now, people who have seen science fiction films have seen all kinds of visualizations of those creatures. But the reality is, many times demons today are people in our regular lifetime meaning actually real people, and sometimes the people in what's considered the spirit world, people who are walking in the light all the time, are often facing the difficulties of whether or not they're a truth teller or whether or not they're a soothsayer. A soothsayer is someone of an old Celtic term. It's about someone who tells stories but also tells the truth within them. A truth teller is someone who looks at facts, figures, data, and assesses that, a paralinguistic perhaps, and openly we need that 